Bawatsi, congratulations, a good fight and a good test for you. Marco Kalic certainly didn't come over just to make the numbers up. Your thoughts and reflections on that fight? Yeah, definitely not, man. Um, didn't come to make the numbers. It was a good fighter, man. Um, unbeaten. Um, he had more, um, not than expected, but he had a lot more when I was in there. And it's as simple as people don't know. People didn't know about him, but that's the spectators and the public. But within our camp and within our team, we knew he was a good fighter. Um, having been that for 400 days, as you picked up on, um, yeah, it was a lot more when I was in there. But again, um, we bit down on the gumshoe and we got the win. Stoppage in the seventh round after you've, you'd had him down, the towel coming in from the college corner. Do you okay. feel that, talk us through the finish, do you feel that was the, the right thing to do from them? Um, do you know what? I think I hurt him earlier in that round and I said, and the referee was thinking about stopping it or whether it was the sixth round or not, I can't rem remember which one. Um, and I was looking at him, I was thinking, damn, this guy's hurt, but the referee has to step in else I'm gonna have to go in and do what I have to do. Um, but I think the corner came up and the towel, they didn't really throw the flag in and I said, ref, they're flagging the towel, um, but the referee has to do something else. I'm gonna have to go in there and do it. And as we know, it's a dangerous sport, man. So if you can live to fight another day, then you gotta do that. But um, yeah, I, I guess the right decision was made. The pair of you have been seen embracing backstage. A lot of respect Absolutely. between the pair of you. Do you have a message for, for Mark? I believe he may have gone to hospital with, with a jaw injury, yeah. I believe. Um, gentleman sport, man. Big credit to him. Um, I wish him nothing for, but the best. I wish him good health um, and big respect to him. Maxim, maximum respect to him, man. Um, he came here, gave me a good run for my money and um, just big up to him, man. I hope he gets back home safely, safe journeys back to Croatia. And um, like I said, I've got more respect for him now. We've shared the ring. And like you said, after the fight, we go, we talk, we embrace. It's nothing ever personal. And um, at the end of the day, I'm safe and I hope he's safe as well. So that's what matters. You, but yourself and Kalic both had success in those early rounds. He marked you definitely. up, as we can see, yeah, yeah, to definitely. the left eye there. Just, just talk us through that. It, it looked um, to be causing you some discomfort. Yeah, I think in the third round, he, I felt a thumb, whether it was a thumb or a shot, whichever way around. Um, and then I felt the eye swell up and the vision went for maybe a round or two. Um, but I said, bite down on the gum should. We're still in here to fight. It's a fight. This is professional boxing. These are the very things that was running through my head. It's pro boxing. We actually um, bite down and we rock and roll. And um, I came out on top, so I'm grateful for that. 400 days out the ring it was only natural to perhaps have a bit of ring rust early yeah, on man. but you felt that you began to find your timing as the fight wore on yeah i said we've got 12 rounds i have 12 rounds to get rid of him um and it happened in the seventh i believe so um yeah it's, it's 12 rounds you know it's not amateur boxing it's not a six rounder an eight rounder it's 12. so um i said one of us is going to get tired first and I was determined that wasn't going to be me. It's never ever going to be me, but um, big credit to him as always. Toughest test of your professional we career so say, far? Yeah, yeah, we have to say, man, um, with this on my face, we have to say definitely. And as we spoke about in the build-up, you don't go looking for that knockout, but if the KO yeah. presents itself, you'll you take, take the opportunity it. and that's what we saw tonight as well. Yeah, man, um, seven rounds deep, I thought, okay. He's giving me a good run for my money here. Um, he switched south, boy, I believe, and a right hand landed. And once it landed, I said, okay, this is it. Um, and we closed the show. But most importantly, like I said, as always, man, I hope he's safe. I've got this to deal with. I hope his jaw is all right and everything's blessed, man. You took a knee during the uh, during the ring walk. Just yeah. talk us through how much that means and how important it is to continue to bring awareness to social injustice. Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. And I think without getting into the politics and the... Um, What's the word I want to use? And the, uh, I can't find the word, but there's a lot of things about it. But my my sole aim of that kneeling down is to bring um, empathy. We want people to empathize with what's happening around the world. Not to, um, not to sympathize, but to empathize with what's going on. We're all one human race. Um, um, one human family should I say and um, there's all these things causing division X, Y and Z but listen we're all one man that was just to bring um, acknowledgement and awareness to what's happening around the world man that period of frustration of inactivity now behind you is, is activity key for you now would you like to get out before the end of the year as we all know it is man um, 400 days is a long day do you know what I mean it's a lot of days and um, so you got to imagine I've been looking forward to this day for over a year man um, and when the fights was announced and the dates changed x y and z a lot of things happened man but um a professional goes in there does what he has to do we deal with the rest outside the ring 
another day. Um, we got the win. That's the most important thing. And um, I'm grateful, man. We mentioned this before, but you've gone from being one of the best prospects in, in British boxing to now being one of the best prospects in world boxing. Is that a label that you enjoy having? Do you thrive under that sort of pressure? I don't even consider it. I don't think about it. Um, everyone's got opinions. Someone's going to say him, a prospect in the world or Britain, rubbish. So I don't think about it, man. I stay within what myself and my team are saying. That the vo they're the voices that matter to me and they're the voices and the ones that I listen to and that's how we act and that's how I that, that's what I act upon know what people are saying um, everyone's got an opinion as you know so it, the pressure and everything or what people say is there but you have to blank it all up man when you get in the ring no one can help you but yourself so um yeah the light heavyweight scene really heating up at the moment we know you're probably sick of talking about mm -hmm. the names but talk the likes it. of callum johnson the likes mm -hmm. of anthony yard dimitri bivol these are big fights that you want to be involved in the mm -hmm. fans want to see looking at 2021 some big fights for joshua boatsy there should be um we'll get there i'm sure eddie can make these fights happen um it's up to myself my team eddie to come together to agree and we move forward but um once i'm in that ring as i've always said man i'm here to fight so um if they happen they happen i'll be there Headlining your second show tonight behind closed doors. Do you have any final thoughts and reflections on the night? I have to go back and watch it, but from being in the moment, it was amazing. Um, credit to Sky Sports and Matching Boxing. You guys always step up. Um, as we know, during this period, the boxing, we thought it wasn't going to happen. Then we did fight fight camp. Amazing. Then I thought, oh, it's gone quiet now. Then this came up. So hats off to you guys, man. You guys always step up. Well, JB, congratulations. A winning return to the ring. We look Appreciate forward that. to seeing you back again soon. Respect. Take Thank care. You Thank, Thank you very much. much.